with each search, we train it to be better. Sometimes we type in the search and it tells us the answer before you've finished asking the question. You know, who is the president of Kazakhstan? And it'll just tell you. You don't have to go to the Kazakhstan national website to find out. Didn't used to be able to do that. The average person, they don't see killer robots going down the streets. They're like, what are you talking about? Man, we want to make sure that we don't have killer robots going down the street. Once they're going down the street, it is too late. DeepMind operates as a semi-independent subsidiary of Google. The thing that makes DeepMind unique is that DeepMind is absolutely focused on creating digital superintelligence, an AI that is vastly smarter than any human on Earth and ultimately smarter than all humans on Earth combined. I mean, the DeepMind system can win at any game. It can already beat all the original Atari games. It is superhuman. It plays the games at super speed in less than a minute. DeepMind's AI has administrator level access to Google's servers to optimize energy usage at the data centers. However, this could be an unintentional Trojan horse. DeepMind has to have complete control of the data centers, so with a little software update, that AI could take complete control of the whole Google system, which means they can do anything. They can look at all your data, you can do anything. We're rapidly headed towards digital superintelligence that far exceeds any human. I think it's very obvious. We, we have five years. I think digital superintelligence will happen in my lifetime, 100%. Today, our computers, phones, applications give us superhuman capability. So as the old maxim says, if you can't beat them, join them. I think it's incredibly important that AI not be other. It must be us. And I could be wrong about what I'm saying. I'm suddenly open to ideas if anybody can suggest a, a path that's better. But I think we're really going to have to either merge with AI or be left behind. The least scary future I can think of is one where we have at least democratized AI. Because if one company or small group of people manages to develop godlike digital superintelligence, they could take over the world. At least when there's an evil dictator, that human is going to die. But for an AI, there would be no death. It would live forever. And then you'd have an immortal dictator from which we can never escape. Thank <laughs> you.